Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm back with the remaining month of May. We start from the 22nd through the 31st of May 2022. This reading is going to be for the sign of Gemini. So let's see Gemini what is coming up for you for the remaining month of time. Uh, I will be adding oracle cards, color cards and messages from your person in this read. So stay tuned and uh, before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it is a general read. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs and messages that resonates and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID. In the description box, you can also check out other services that I offer as well. So let's see. Wow, starting of the remaining month with Nine of Cups means you are either wishful or you are definitely getting your wish granted. So either way, it's a good thing to have because I feel like, you know, you will be feeling very positive about something. Uh, for some of you, you might be um, on the receiving on uh, end of uh, some sort of good news coming your way as well. Uh, maybe, maybe of uh, something that you have been always wanting to have unexpectedly come through for you right now in the very beginning of the remaining month time from 22nd to maybe uh, 23rd, 24th of uh, May. Let's see more cards here. Wow, two of swords, five of cups. Now, I feel like, you know, for a majority of you, a person who was not, you know, committing, was not giving you what you wanted with them, might just make a decision about you and they might just choose you over the people, other situations and come towards you. Um, we're still feeling like kind of lost without them and them coming towards you and, you know, in this situation is just going to brighten everything up for you. Because you're going to feel like, you know, oh my God, like, you know, um, you were not expecting this to happen. You were still in your head about them, like, you know, will it ever happen or stuff like that. But then comes this person, then comes the message, then comes the communication, which is going to surprise you and brighten your life up. Now, for those of you who are right now in a situation where you don't want an ex back, you don't want to reconcile with anyone. But yes, you are feeling lost because you don't have a person in your love life right now who you could call your own. A person would come in. Uh, in that situation too who is going to be unexpectedly entering in your life in this uh, remaining month time and you will be surprised to have this person coming in your life because you thought that you have lost your chance in love and this person is coming towards you in love to offer you the love that you always desired of uh, this person is going to remove the sadness from your life and brighten it up with lots of love to fill it with uh, then we do have ace of wands a new beginning is definitely destined to happen for you in this uh, remaining month time and i feel like you know it is definitely going to blow your mind because uh, you will be feeling very fulfilled after a, a period and after a time after a phase of sadness in your love life you will be happy again and i feel like you know this happiness is definitely gonna shine you know the light on every area of your life uh let's see what is the you know the thoughts of your person right now for you whoever it is that you're dealing with or whoever is coming towards you let's see what is it that they are thinking about you right now what are their current energies towards you whoever it is going to be let's find out what are they currently thinking about you three of swords um, now for some of you, maybe it's a past person coming after a, a mini breakup, you might be reconciling with this person. Uh, they, they are thinking about the pain and suffering that you both went through after maybe a, some sort of disagreement, some sort of uh, misunderstanding and they really want to fix things again. Let's see what else is this person thinking. Yep, they are feeling a strong feeling to be like, you know, to, to make things work again. They're really feeling the urge to talk to you and fix the situation um so i feel like you know if it's a past person i feel like you know um for some of you they might have been in a third party situation as well for some of you and if that was the case or if that is the case they will be making a choice to choose you over them right now and i feel like you know they will be coming towards you so they're really planning to do so they want to break free from the third party situation they want to break free from the sadness and make a move towards you because they feel like you know they will be fulfilled emotionally mentally physically sexually once they are with you so they are definitely planning to come towards you on the deck we do have the um, eight of pentacles right now as well i feel like you know a person is trying to make up their mind or to plan to how to come towards you as well let's see some messages what is it that they wish to say to you right now 
financial differences that we have will always be an issue. My family won't approve. So for some of you, maybe they chose their family over you and if they did so, they are hurt with that decision of theirs. They want to break free from the third party situation and come back to you. I promise I will marry you and only you. So this person really wants you to know that, that they are planning this time to get married to you. They don't want to do anything which kind of, you know, uh, keeps them away from you. They really want to make make things work now. I love you, but I love my family too. So for a majority of you, your person could have chosen some decisions or made some decisions, some choices, which their family wanted to, them to do. And now they regret that. Now they want to be back with you and they really want you to know that, look, I'm coming back. And this good news is definitely going to be about that. Um, let's see some oracle cards here. Let's see what the divine has to add to the read for you guys. What is it that you need to do? What is it that you need to have to make your life moving forward in the right path to attract what you want, what you desire? The end of a tough cycle approaches. For some of you, you could be dealing with a Capricorn as well. And I feel like, you know, your love life is definitely having a turn, uh, you know, of events coming your way. And uh, some unexpected changes are definitely coming ahead. Um, it's time to release negativity. For some of you, you could be dealing with a water sign or a Scorpio in particular. Um, I feel like, you know, again, there, there, there are certain things that uh, you were dealing with when it comes to your love life. I do see that things are changing. I do see that things will be start falling into place for you. Things will start turning in the favor of you and the connection. They will unexpectedly choose and come back to you. Um, don't let your past hold you back. I feel like, you know, for majority of you, it's very important for you to um, you know, um, to allow certain changes coming up for you in regards to your love life in, in coming, uh, you know, times, especially for those of you um, who are single and who are willing to meet somebody new. Don't let your past hold you back. Don't let your negativity from the past affect you mentally, physically, emotionally. Try to, you know, heal yourself from any bad experience that you might have had and try to move forward with the opportunities coming up for you in regards to your love life. Um, I feel like, you know, whatever sadness that you're having right now, this message, this person will take all the worries away. So let them take that worry away from you. Try to release the negativity as well. Um, let's see what color is going to be significant for you in the remaining month time. Let's see what color could be significant for you in the remaining month time. What color could be significant uh, or lucky for you in the remaining month time? Auburn, ground yourself, number 11. Spending some time in the nature is also going to be helpful. Auburn color is going to be lucky for you. It's going to keep you grounded as well. It's going to keep you on right track as well. So try to, um, you know, stay positive. Try to let go of the negativity that you might be having around your love life right now because of the past experiences that you have had. And try to think positive. Try to stay positive and believe in some good stuff to come through for you. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for the remaining month of time. If it was of help, do like, share, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, till I do the next read for you guys. Take care and bye.